Hey classmates, my name is Kamani Moye, and today I will be doing my presentation on gambling with former NBA star Charles Barkley. Who? Many fans also call Charles Barkley Chuck. He's a former NBA player. At first, he got drafted to the 76ers in 1984. Then the following years, he has got traded to the Rockets and the Phoenix Suns. Currently, he is a talk host for ESPN. He was born February 10th, 1963 in Alabama. What? A former NBA professional basketball player, a current analysis for ESPN, has been betting and gambling ever since he became the fifth pick in the 1984 NBA draft. So ever since, ever since he been drafted in 1984, he's been gambling like crazy. about well my topic that I read about it was about a man named Charles Barkley he has been faced with criminal charges with gambling debt the retired NBA star owed $400,000 to the Las Vegas casino when he wasted all his money and wasted the Las Vegas casino money he promised that he he was gonna pay it back, but not not on their time, on his own time. Honestly, I don't agree with this scenario. I don't agree with what Charles Barkley has done. I don't think it was a great idea to spend anyone's money. But then, pays it back on your own time, and not on their time. Charles also had an explanation to what he was doing. He said he was gambling too much and didn't know how much he was in debt. He also told the workers that he's going to pay it back, but not at this moment. He also stated, my mistake, Barkley says in an interview at a pro-am golf tournament, I'm not broke, I'm just going to take care of it. To me, I don't think that's a good idea by taking someone's money then paying it back on your own time. Consequentialism. My theory is Charles did not think about what was going to happen next in the future. He was just thinking about what was happening at that moment. He didn't think about any outcomes or what was going to happen next. Overall, he did not do the right thing by keep gambling. Or, for instance, by spending the casino's money without payment. In this theory, I feel like Las Vegas casino staff had every right to charge him. He should not borrow anybody's money or especially the casino's money and do not pay them back on time. Instead, you pay them back on your own time.
I don't think that was right. I feel like this theory was very relatable to this topic. The retired NBA Hall of Famer should not be gambling with others money if you can't pay them back on time. This theory goes with the golden rule. Treat others how you want to be treated. If you treat someone bad, they're going to do the same to you. If you treat someone good, good things are going to come.